Hello my lovely friends and welcome to today's vlog that will start off by sharing my romantic feelings of autumn which is truly my favorite season and the time of year that I begin to come alive in nature. And I'll also share my productive days spent in the garden and finish up with my birthday. So thank you so much for spending time with me in these autumn days and I'm so happy to share them with you.
I wanted to show you my new plant that I purchased from a local nursery. If you remember from my last vlog, I decided to wait and look for a plant that can stand low light for my bedroom, and this one is a true beauty. It's called a shell ginger plant, and I'll apparently get some beautiful blooms on it. That's what I'm told. I really hope that it will bloom. It requires a lot of watering and a lot of humidity, but because its preference is low light, I think it'll be perfect for underneath my bedroom window. My elephant ear plant had grown so big with so many little babies coming off of it that I decided to put it into two pots and then it still continued to grow like crazy. So I planted some over here in the ground just because I hated to throw, throw it all away. But um, if your elephant ear is starting to get very large in the pot or too many babies coming up off of it, you can actually dig them up by the root ball and plant them in the ground. They are kind of known to be an invasive plant, but I just really love the way they look. They're very tropical, they're so green, and they do grow really, really well. So I'm trying to keep my two pots in check so that they don't get too sprouty, but um, I can always plant more in the ground, I guess. planted them right here in the backyard next to the calla lilies. Kind of pointless to have them here, but they're doing pretty well. And I just cannot believe that the calla lilies are still in bloom here in late September. They were such a joy to have a bright pop of yellow in the backyard and their leaves are very green. The ones under my studio room window they're pretty much done blooming for the season, but the ones here in the backyard, they're still they're still doing something. I've actually never seen a red calla lily like this one here, but it's come up all by itself. The leaves are like this purpley color. And yeah, I've really been enjoying this one. He kind of just popped up all on his own and took a long time in blooming, bloomed way later than some of the others did, but it's very beautiful. So behind me here is my little patch of um, 
Hawaiian ginger, also known as shampoo ginger and also known as awapuhi. It's a plant that's native in Hawaii and grows in a lot of kind of tropical and southern regions. And it's a really fascinating type of ginger plant because it contains a lot of nourishing liquid that you can um, harvest out of it. It's really good for your hair. That's why they call it shampoo ginger. You can wash your hair with it. You can wash and um, condition your skin with it. It's supposed to be very good for the hair and skin when used topically. And I mean, I think some people even you know, eat part of the plant, which I don't plan to do, but I've been harvesting the liquid goo and I'm gonna harvest some again and take it to my mom. So I'll show you what it's like. So let's see if we can find one here. Here's one that's perfectly ready for squeezing. So what's really interesting is once you squeeze out the liquid from the cone, it replenishes again in like 30 minutes. It'll stay full of the liquid all throughout its growing season and you know that they're ready for harvesting when they're bright red like this. So this liquid, it has a very fresh kind of pine scent to it and the consistency, it's very liquidy, but I would say the consistency reminds me of like aloe vera gel, but maybe a little thinner. It definitely has a slick slip to it. So when you massage it in your skin or throughout your hair, you feel a silky, um, residue, which is really quite nice and very conditioning. Some people just like it in their home because it has this fresh aroma. It has this very uh, kind of, well, it's like a combination between a citrusy scent and a pine scent. And I don't really think that it's something that you drink. The native Hawaiians might drink it. They might use it in their cuisine. I'm not really sure about that but it's definitely known as uh, a scalp conditioner. It's really good to eliminate dandruff and dry scalp and just um, has a lot of great benefits. So I'll do a little bit more research and leave it in the caption below the video, but I just really have been excited for when these got ready and I thought I would share with you since it's kind of an interesting thing that we have growing in our yard here. Wow, I really love how it looks in here. And apparently it does flower at a certain point in at a certain time of the year. That'll be lovely. Now that one back in the corner is not a real plant. Um, this is a ZZ plant. I've had that one for a long time. It's doing great. And then this is not a real plant either. This is a, a faux snake plant. So yeah, that's just a really beautiful plant and I'm so glad that I could support a local nursery in my area.
also spent some time enjoying my mom's lovely garden. Nature has been so active and the bees and the butterflies have really been busy with pollination. I have a couple of adorable bunnies that come out to eat in the backyard a couple of times a day and it just seems like the wildlife is enjoying the beauty of this autumn season as well. This is our bonfire, which is a result of Hurricane Idalia and everything that I picked up in the yard, just in our yard alone. All the debris, fallen sticks, branches, up in a blaze. Oh, these are self tapper screws. Oh, I'm not real familiar with them. It, it screws into this and this becomes the pole. On this, we don't really need. It's always been a dream of mine to have a charming mailbox since I do a lot of both shipping out and receiving of packages. So for my birthday, David surprised me by making this dream come true and I'm so happy that we could work on the assembly together. Wow. This is the old mailbox that was here when we moved in. And it's kind of a sight. <laughs> it has some stuff growing on it. And oh, it's so old. So it's kind of like a dream of mine to get a new mailbox, a really nice one. So yeah, I'm excited to get this new mailbox up today with David's help, and I think it's going to look fantastic and be just what I need for um, when I ship out packages or even receive packages because we got the extra large size. So I think it's going to be perfect. Here comes the post in the mailbox. David's bringing it down this way. We just make it level and pack some more dirt in. And before you know it, we'll be able to put the mailbox up here. Like right there. Like right there. I say a little higher. Okay. Split that open. 
Was that a full size for Kyle or just you? I got that. Big of a bit. Oh, no. Keep it on. I'll do the rest by hand. It's TGIF over here, so I'm actually getting ready to leave the house. Uh, yes, that is significant for me because I'm quite a homebody. I don't leave very often. I want to go over to TJ Maxx. I want to look and see if they have any autumn or pumpkin-inspired coffee varieties out there. And then I want to hurry and come back and make said coffee if I find some. And then also my mom got me a really nice birthday gift from Bath & Body Works, but there was only one thing that she got me that I'm not so sure about. Um, it's a lotion, so I wanna go back in there and I wanna see about exchanging the lotion for a different scent, something that's not quite so strong, something that's a little bit more mild. So I loved everything that she picked out for me. She had really good taste and that was very sweet but I do wanna see about exchanging this one lotion. Tomorrow is actually my birthday, and so um, I'm just going to go out and do this couple of errands and then get back, get cozy again, and make some coffee, so come along with me. TJ Maxx is one of my favorite local stores and they had a lot of fall decor and whimsical cute things all throughout. Everything on display was so fun to look at. I tried to keep my visit short though and focus on what I was there for. They did have quite a few autumn coffee selections to choose from and then I was also able to pop into Bath and Body Works and successfully make my exchange.
Okay, so I'm sitting outside, obviously, and I'm gonna try this coffee in my new mug. This mug is so cute. I love bears and I love the color. I don't have to go on and on about why I love it. <laughs> We're gonna try this coffee. It's very hot though. Mmm, it's very tasty. It's really good. It's pumpkin pie flavor is what I decided to go with. And it does taste like pumpkin pie in a glass. I just put a tiny little bit of cane sugar in and a little splash of regular whole milk. It's good. It is a little bit different from pumpkin spice in that it's more of a warm pumpkin dessert flavor versus spice and um, a lot of the spices that they put in in the pumpkin pie spice mix so that's a little bit different um i was just going to tell you that when i went into tj maxx of course i saw all kinds of the cool stuff um i did not just get coffee <laughs> but i think i was somewhat disciplined to not buy the whole store out i was just going to show you a couple of things that i got i got a pack of hair clips three of them, jumbo size, huge. Hopefully these will keep my hair up. They were on clearance for $6, so that's just $2 each. That was pretty good. I've been wanting some really big, powerful jumbo clips to hold up this mane, and so I hope they'll do the trick. Oop, I have to turn the mug around. <laughs> It wasn't facing the right way. The little bear cub wants to say hello. And then I went into Bath and Body Works and they had no problem at all about me exchanging a couple of the items for new uh, fragrances. They're so good about that. They're so friendly there and very helpful. So what I went ahead and got as far as the body lotion, this seemed very mild and pleasant. It's called Coco Paradise. Let's read what the notes are. Salted coconut monoi, monoi? Uh-oh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Let's just call it salted coconut, okay? Sugared neroli and bronzed sandalwood. And yes, this is kind of a beachy scent, kind of a summery scent. But what I like about it is it does have that, my mom's calling me. I just really like the scent. It does have this warm coconutty scent, but I think that it's mild enough that for those that have high sensitivity to fragrances and they really just cannot stand a lot of different smells, I think this one would be okay. So I played it safe on that. And then for the hand sanitizer, same kind of concept. The one that she had got me smelled really nice and I liked it, but I know that it would not go over good with David or anyone else who does not prefer strong scents. It was very musky and maybe a little bit on the cologne scent, but I got vanilla icicles. It's just a vanilla scent. Again, I played it pretty safe. You cannot go wrong with a warm, sweet vanilla scent. So yeah, that's how my Friday has started and I hope that your weekend is off to a good start as well. And so I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this beautiful day and enjoy this delicious coffee. For my birthday, David took me to St. Simon's for a beautiful dinner at Sunset, a place where I've never been before. Coastal Kitchen is located at Morningstar Marinas, so there were many really neat boats docked there, and even groups of people were sailing into port to stop for dinner. We had a great view, and my blackened shrimp was so delicious and prepared perfectly.
We both really enjoyed this classy dining experience, and it was honestly the perfect way to romanticize an autumn day and make my birthday a memorable one I'll forever cherish. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next vlog. Happy autumn and stay cozy!